Hi folks, hope you're okay today. It's good to be with you. We're here to share about the gospel. He says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same as a thief and a robber. But he that entereth in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the porter openeth, and the sheep hear his voice. And he calleth his own sheep by name, and he leadeth them. When he put forth his own sheep, he goeth before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. And the stranger will they not follow, but they will flee from him, for they know not the voice of the strangers. This parable spoke Jesus unto them, but they understood not that the things that they were which he spoke unto them. Then said Jesus unto them again, Verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. Jesus Christ is the door way to heaven. And there is only one way to heaven, and that is the door of Jesus. And if you knock on that door and you cry out to Jesus, he'll open the door and he'll let you into heaven. He says, I am the door. And there is only one door to heaven. And that is the door of Jesus Christ. And if you come to him and say, Lord, I want to know you as my Lord and Savior, he will forgive you. He will cleanse you. He will have mercy upon you. He says, I am the door. He is the door. He is the door. Are you going to go to the doorway to heaven today and knock on the door of Jesus and ask him to let you in? And if you ask him, he'll let you in. If you ask him, he'll open the door. He says, I am the door. There is no other door way to heaven. There's only one way to heaven, only one door to heaven, and that is the door of Jesus. And if you go to him and knock on the door of Jesus, and cry out to Jesus, he'll forgive you. He'll open the doorway to heaven. He says, I am the door. There is no other way to heaven. Not by humanism, not by religion, not by philosophy, not by science. He says, I am the door. And if you want to know God today, and if you want to get to heaven today, he is the doorway to heaven. That door is a door that will open for you today. If you knock on the door and cry out and say, Lord, let me into heaven. Lord, have mercy upon me. Lord, forgive me. He'll open the door for you. He'll open the door for you and make a way to heaven for you if you trust in him. I am the door. He is the door, he says. There's no other door way to heaven. You might try drugs, but drugs will not get you to heaven. You might try crystals. You might try tarot cards. You might try witchcraft. You might try tarot cards or witchcraft or crystals. But he says, I am the door. Only Jesus can get you into heaven, not crystals, not tarot cards, but Jesus Christ, not witchcraft. But Jesus Christ, he says, I am the door. Not the door of money, not materialism, not drugs, not religion. But Jesus Christ, he is the doorway to heaven. He is the doorway to heaven, my friends. I am the door. He is the doorway. Call upon 
upon him and he will save you. Call upon him and he will have mercy. He says, I am the door. And if you come to him, he says, I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved. If any man enter in, will be saved. If any man or woman comes to him and says, Lord, save me. He says, I am the door and you can be saved. I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go out and in and out and find pasture. There's no hope in sex. There's no hope in drugs. There's no hope in materialism. There's no hope in religion. He says, I am the door. He is the door. And if you knock upon him and ask him, you'll find pasture. You'll find peace and hope. But you won't find peace in drugs. You won't find peace in taking drugs. You won't find peace in smoking spice. You won't find peace in smoking spice or taking drugs. You won't find no peace in taking drugs. But he says, I am the door. You'll find peace in Jesus. You'll find hope in Jesus. There's peace in him. You find hope in him and peace in him if you look to him as your savior. I am the door. Not wacky backy, not drugs, not materialism. God bless you. Not materialism, not religion, but Jesus. He says, I am the door. I am the door. Not a portion. A portion is, is not right. Sex outside of marriage is not right. It's against the Ten Commandments. Thou shalt not murder. Abortion is murder. We need forgiveness for the things that we have done wrong. I am the door. The answer to your life is Jesus. The answer to your life is Him, Christ. I am the Good Shepherd. The Good Shepherd gives His life for the sheep. He says, I am the Good Shepherd. Wacky Baki ain't your shepherd. Drugs ain't your shepherd. Materialism ain't your shepherd. Science ain't your shepherd. It cannot get you to heaven. Religion cannot get you to heaven. But he says, I am the good shepherd who lays down his life. And he laid down his life for you. He laid down his life and shed his blood on a cross and died on a cross and laid down his life for you on that cross. He laid down his life for you. He suffered and died for you. He was nailed to the cross for you and was nailed on that cross for you and shed his blood for you. He had a crown of thorns on his head for you and he was nailed to the cross and he died on that cross as a good shepherd dying for your soul so you wouldn't go to hell. That's why you died on that cross, that you wouldn't go to hell. It says the Lord is my shepherd. Have you made him your savior today? Have you come to an experience of God through Jesus today? Have you come to know God through Jesus today? Is he your shepherd today? When you face death, your parents can't help you on your deathbed. Your pension cannot help you on your deathbed. Your money cannot help you on your deathbed. On your deathbed, the only thing that can help you is the Lord is my shepherd. Have you made him your shepherd today? Have you come to a personal salvation of Jesus today? Do you know Jesus personally in your life today? 
Have you met with the Lord today personally in your life? The Lord is my shepherd. Have you made him your Lord and Savior today? Have you come to know him as your Lord and Savior? Because one day you'll come to that deathbed. One day you'll come to that deathbed. And on that deathbed, money cannot help you. Your family cannot help you. Your religion cannot help you. Science cannot help you. Politicians cannot help you. The bishop cannot help you. Nobody can help you but Jesus. And only unless you say, the Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is the one that died for me. The Lord is the one that shed his blood for me. And unless you can say that, then when you die, you're going to be lost. Is the Lord your shepherd today? Is he your savior today? Have you come to know him as your Lord and savior today? The Lord is my shepherd. Can you say that today? Have you got faith in Jesus today as your Savior? Do you have a saving knowledge of God? Are you saved and born again of God? Are you right with God? Are you clean with God? Are you forgiven by God? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you met with God through Jesus? Have you met with God through Jesus? The Lord is my shepherd. Has he come become your shepherd? Has he become your Lord and Savior today? The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Is he your shepherd today of your soul? Do you have faith in Jesus? Do you trust him as your Lord and Savior today? Because if you don't, if you don't know Jesus, if you don't know the Lord today, if you're not right with the Lord Jesus today, if you don't know him personally today, then you're lost. You're lost. You're lost if you don't know the master. You're lost if you don't know the savior. How can you not know him? How can you not know him, the savior? How can you not know Christ, who is the savior of your soul? How can you not know him? To know him is life. To know him is joy. To know him is blessing. To know him is beautiful. How can you not know Christ? Christ who came and died on that cross for you. Christ who shed his blood for you. How can you not trust him? When he says, come to me, all you who are weak and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon him and learn of me. For my yoke is easy. I'm filming, I'm filming. <laughs> my yoke is easy. Hold on. My yoke is easy. And my burden is light. How can you not trust him? How can you not look to him? Savior of your soul. Oh Christ, the Savior who died for you. The Savior who gave his life for you. Christ, who hung on a cross and died in your place that you may live. That is the Savior today, the life-giving power of Christ, that he can save us and make us anew and help us to go to heaven. Christ, the Savior today. He can save. He can make the difference in our lives today. He can make the difference in your life. The Lord is my shepherd. Can you say he's your shepherd today? Can you say you've met with him today? Can you say you know him today? Do you know him as your Lord and Savior? The Lord is my shepherd. Is he your shepherd today? Have you closed with him in faith to believe in him? Uh, do you believe that he died for you? Do you believe that he shed his blood for you? Do you believe that he died for you? No. Do you believe that he shed his blood for you? Do you believe him today? Or do you believe Christ gave his life for you? That Christ died for you? That Christ is the Son of God? That Christ died and rose again? That he conquered death? And that one day he's coming back? 
Have you met with Christ on your deathbed when you die? You're going to die one day. One day you're going to die. And when you die, how are you going to cope with your death when you die? How are you going to cope with your death when you die? One day you will die. One day you will die. And when you die, you need to be right with God. You need to be ready with Him. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Have you made Him your shepherd? Have you made Him your Lord? Have you made Him your shepherd today? The Lord is my shepherd. Have you come to know Him in your life? Have you come to trust Him in your life? Have faith in Him in your life. Believe in Him and trust Him as your Lord and Savior. Faith in Him. Faith in Jesus. Believing in Him. Trusting in Him. Put in your confidence in Him, not in your own righteousness. Put in your confidence in Him and not in your own ability. The Lord is my shepherd. Is He your shepherd today of your soul? You've got a shepherd of your soul who died for you. A shepherd of your soul who gave his life for you. A shepherd of your soul who was bruised and crucified for you. You have a shepherd of your soul and he wants to save your soul. But if you die, you're going to be lost forever in hell. But he died for you to stop you going to hell. He was your shepherd of your soul, but you reject him and push him away. And he is the one that came to save your soul. You have a soul in that body. You're not just a body. You're a body and a soul. And Christ came to save your soul. You have a soul inside of you. And He is the shepherd of your soul. Come to save you of your soul. Come to give you hope and a future in heaven for your soul. Money will pass away. Your health will pass away. Your pension will pass away. Your car will pass away. Your house will pass away. Everything will pass away. But your soul will remain. And your soul will either be in hell or it will be in heaven. And he is the shepherd of your soul who came to die on a cross to save your soul. He came to die for your soul to redeem you and bring you home. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He's your shepherd today. And wants to save you. Don't reject your shepherd. Don't reject him who died for you. Don't reject him who shed his blood for you. This is no joke. The wrath of God came upon him. He died in your place and took the wrath that you and I deserved. He took that wrath for you. He took the wrath and died on that cross for you. He died on that cross that you may live. That's why he died on that cross. He died on that cross and shed his blood that you may be forgiven, that you may be cleansed and know His mercy today. God bless you.